Sunday 13th of August 2023, a very short, sharp handheld of the Bridport Sunrise before we leave. Bridport, what a shit of a sight. Beautiful view of the shit house. Tough to get out. Bound for Scottsdale, first stop anyway, last stop. Leaving Bridport on a beautiful Tasmania day. A little cool, sunny, no cloud. Uh, next stop, Godsdale, I think. Might get a bit of fuel there. Actually, Mr. Turn heading out of Bridport. Had to go a little bit further than was the original plan. Regret number one comes about just right here. Would have been really nice to actually keep going on the road we were lost on. Or not lost, that we were going too far on. And head up to Muscle Road Bay, right up in the northeast. Spend a couple of days up there. Wasn't to be. We'll have to do that next time. Important information I'll succinctly described. Memorials here in Scottsdale at the entrance to Children's Reserve. Terrible shame about that sign there. I've got some information on the Kakata track and Simpson and his donkey. Magnificent day. It's hard to fault the day. It's probably only 10 or 12 degrees. It's something else. It is Sunday the 13th. August 2023. After driving through some rolling hills from Bridport, we have arrived in Scottsdale in a park here where I'm just currently walking down the Anzac Walk of Honour. Over here, some more carvings from a wood perspective. This walk of honours, it's quite long. Here's their Anzac Memorial on beautiful Green Park. Here's there was a lone pine tree planted over here, Glipley Pine. Propago from the lone pine at Scottsdale Wastewater Treatment Plant and was planted by Hilma Briggs' son Les Briggs on Remembrance Day 08. And apparently has since died, which is unfortunate. So we've got a significant mural on the wall of the Scottsdale RSL. A little difficult to photograph, just due to where the sun is and where I'd need to be to get it all properly. You get the idea, a bit better on the video probably. Can't see when it was painted or who it was painted by. Spectacular scenery as you rumble through the hills. There's nothing to show in Tasmania that when you're going down a hill, if you look up, you'll see the next one you're going to go off. Uh, some of them take a little bit of fuel to negotiate the upside, uh, and a little bit of nows coming down the other side. A little bit steep, a little bit winding. Don't want to be going too fast. The waddles also start really starting to flower up here. In, in unseasonally warm conditions, so it's going to be quite pretty in the near future. Pine Garner Dairy, we've eaten here a couple of times. From memory, it was brutally cold and we had some of their special soup. Very pleasant place to eat. You go up the other end there and wash and make cheese, buy some of their milk. Bit of a quick look at the cheese making process at Pine Garner Dairies. Here's an old set of scales, the old Avery scales. Uh, walk down from our campsite, as we do, to just have a quick squeeze at the pub in the paddock. We uh, didn't get here early enough for lunch. If you want to know about us and walking, just check in with our children. Especially the day we walked from Surfers Paradise to Harbour Town, which was quite significant for young children in 35 degree heat. Uh, they all still remember it, it must be true. 
got everything here at the pub in the paddock. Apparently there's a pig that drinks beer, which doesn't surprise me. Pigs eat anything. A few bees. And out here we've got some fat lambs that today are worth considerably less than they were not so long ago. Uh, not too sure what they're worth, but probably less than half of what they were. Just look at that green. Rolling hills in the background. Clouds, coolness about them. It's going to be cold tonight. We're back at the famous pub in a paddock. Looked very nice inside, but we're just a bit late for lunch. The St. Columba Falls Hotel. Beautiful setting, rolling green hills. Probably come back here for lunch tomorrow. Have a bit of a look inside. Rustic, I guess you might call it. Some very fresh cow shit. The grass is that lush. It's just all moisture, which is why they're feeding dry hay as well. A little bit more fresh cow shit from this lush green. Well, it's basically just water being held up above the ground by a stalk of grass. Have some heifer calves which have no fear of humans at all. I'm going to guess that they've been hand fed at some stage. Very quiet. I'm also going to guess that they've been chosen to continue the bloodline and become fully fledged dairy cows. They're very keen to get some milk anyway. Finishing Sunday off with a great sunset out across those rolling hills.